shame. In any city, in any country, go to the city hall or place of local government. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit the one who calls herself the holder of shame. The worker will stiffen and put on an obvious facade of confusion. Quietly apologize for the misunderstanding while discreetly handing the worker a cash bribe. If the bribe is sufficient, you will be directed through a door behind the desk. The door will lead to a hallway that is bright at the entrance, yet grows dimmer further down, such that the very end is completely dark. Walk slowly down the hallway. Should a figure emerge from the darkness, stop immediately. If the figure disappears once you have stopped, then the sleep into which you will fall will be eternal. If the figure remains, however, then wait for it to coalesce into a clear image. It will reveal itself to be a beautiful, youthful girl, perhaps in her early teenage years. The blood spattered across her clothes will make it apparent she is bullet-riddled, and tears will flow slowly from her eyes. When she smiles sadly at you, ask, what was their mistake? The girl will cast her eyes to the ground. For the briefest heartbeat of a moment, your vision will be lost. When it returns, the girl will be immediately in front of you, her body trembling as she appears to hold back her tears. Move to embrace her. If she turns away from you, then you deserve no sympathy for the fate you will soon suffer. If the girl preempts you by embracing you first, simply let her. Her blood will smear across your clothes. She will bring her face to yours, such that her tears will soak your own cheek. Hold her close to you, and submit to the drowsy feeling that will overcome you. You will awaken in the place you call home. There will no longer be any trace of the girl's blood on your clothes, but your cheek will still be damp with her tears. Her tears are object 182 of 538. Turn away from the path you have chosen, lest you repeat their mistake.